Hi, in this video, we'll view how to connect two net access panels using the Ethernet virtual loop or EVL configuration. The net access panels must be on the same firmware to work on EVL. The panels must also be on the same network, and the network must count with a DHCP server as the panels will be configured to work on DHCP. Begin by logging into the web interface of the downstream panel. Navigate under the panel configuration and click under the host slash loop tab. Here, ensure that the panel is set up for web mode and locate the loop configurations and select EVL. Now, go ahead and click under the settings tab and locate the network settings. Under the network settings, go ahead and configure the panel to work on DHCP and click save. On the pop-up window, go ahead and click OK. At this moment, the panel will start to reboot itself. Wait for the bar to fill up. And after that, go ahead and put all the dip switches off and put dip switch number one on. After that, power cycle the downstream panel and wait for the panel to come back up. Now, we'll move to the gateway panel. We'll begin by logging into the web interface of the gateway panel. On the dashboard, go to the panel configuration. On the settings tab, locate the network configuration settings of the panel and we'll configure the static IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway of the panel. We'll then proceed to click under host slash loop configuration settings and configure the panel for EVL. Then proceed to click save. After that, click on the Advanced tab and locate the EVL Discovery option. We will now see our downstream panel and the main panel. Click the Registry button and on the pop-up window that comes up, go ahead and click OK. If the panel is successfully registered, a pop-up message will show up on the top right corner showing a successful message. The downstream panel should now show an unregistered button. To verify if the panels are online, click on the menu and go to the dashboard. You should be able to see both panels and both under the status should show a green online option. For more information and videos, please visit our webpage, mywebtech.honeywell.com.